G'day everyone. Well, today I've got a little project that I'm going to uh, undertake. Uh, for a little while now we've been having some issues with our nitrates being elevated a little bit. It's been hovering around 20 to 40. And I did see um, BRS had posted a video lately um, doing an experiment on Chado and how efficient Chado actually works in trying to control your nitrates and phosphates and it was quite conclusive that it actually does help quite a bit. And for a while we had been trying to grow Chado in our sump uh, without much success, probably mostly because of inadequate lighting. Uh, it just seems to break down, deteriorate and and just float away, get sucked up into the pump and into the main display. So uh, I had recently discovered this on YouTube, uh, building a Chado reactor. Um, and I've seen people having really good results with um, growing Chado inside of a reactor. Um, the principle behind it is uh, getting a reactor, whether you buy one or build one, I was actually looking up uh, to maybe find parts to build one uh, but had instead opted to buy one. Um, I ended up buying a uh, Two Little Fishies um, Fosban reactor, it was a 550 model. Um, we got the 150 already uh, set up on the sump. Um, with Fosban in it, but I really like the size of the 550. Um, it's got a bigger chamber where you can grow more Chado. Um, so the principle behind it is to uh, wrap some LEDs around the outside of the reactor uh, to light the Chado and and uh, and have it flowing into your sump. And I've seen people having really amazing results with their chato growing really quickly in a setup like this. So I thought I'd give it a go myself. Uh, so first things first, I've got my reactor. I bought a roll of cool white LED strip. Uh, I've got some double-sided tape so I can glue or stick the... Um, LED strip to the outside of the reactor. Uh, I won't bore you with me trying to show you my fun in trying to wrap the LED around the, and stick it to the reactor so I'll pause it for now and and I'll show you what it looks like once I've stuck the LED strip to the outside of the reactor. Okay so now there we have the LED strip wrapped around the chamber of the reactor. Looks pretty cool I think. And it's just a matter now of connecting up a power supply to it, hooking it up to the baffle to the sump, put the chato in there, get the water running through it turn it on and let's watch how fast this chato grows let's go hook a power supply up to it and see what happens see what it looks like so here we are again back inside the lights haven't actually turned on yet on the aquarium I only have them come on around about midday uh, when I bought the LED lights I didn't actually buy a power supply for it. And, uh, I do have plenty of these laying around. It only has to be 12 volt. I was actually quite surprised. I bought 5 meters of LED strip and actually used the whole lot wrapping it around the reactor. So it's going to be a lot of light. So it's going to really grow some Chado in there. So I'll connect this power supply to the wire on the bottom of the reactor and turn it on and see what it looks like. Well here we are now, the moment of truth. Time to plug it in and see how she lights up.
Whoa, crikey. That is heaps of light. That is well lit up. I'm really going to have a ton of Chido in no time. This is going to work brilliantly. Uh, now it's just a matter of doing a couple of little fine adjustments. And finish it off. And then I'll plumb it up to the tank and put some chado in it and get growing some chado and get these nitrates under control. I just thought I'd give you a bit of a look at this is the chado that I got. It's a little handful size. So I'll give you a bit of an indication of what I start off with. And uh, yeah, come back in the future with an update and see how much it's grown. Then I'll go and put it in my reactor and I'll hook it up to the tank. Well, before I actually put it in the tank and plumb it up, I thought I'd just give you a quick look. I've put the Chado only very loosely into the bottom of the reactor. Still have plenty of room for it to grow. I didn't pack it in. sort of get an idea of how much is in there. Probably about a third of the way up roughly. But like I said it's not packed in, it's in there very loosely. And I opted not to put the black sponge in the top of the reactor. Any copepods or as such as they reproduce in my reactor. I would like them to actually end up in my system as well. I'll only have the water flow going through very slowly through the reactor. Right now let's get it plumbed up and turn it on. And there we have it. Plumbed up to the sump. From results I've seen on other videos, hopefully in about one month's time, the reactor will be full of chado and be able to harvest some out of it. And our nitrates will be dropping. I haven't plugged it up yet to the timer. That'll be the next step and to finish wiring it up properly so I can easily just unplug it and remove it clean out the chado once it needs to be harvested goes up the back to the baffle Now I'll put my protein skimmer in what was the refugium chamber. Got a bubble magus a curve five works brilliantly. I'd recommend the bubble magus if anyone's looking for a protein skimmer. So the first chamber I'll be able to commit to filter socks. Currently don't have any in there. In the process of washing them. But I got the flow quite slow. It's probably too dark to see anyway, but
just gently trickling out. And another thing I love about having a Chado reactor is by having tradi the traditional Chado in the refugium, it's forever having to clean it out. You know, you've got a strong light. It's just a pain having to clean the sump. It's never an easy job. And by having a Chado reactor, the reactor is going to be so much easier to keep clean. I mean, I could black out the side of the sump so the light doesn't actually go through so much, so we don't get any issues with any algae growing on the side of the sump. So, yeah, there's my Chado reactor. Be interesting to see how fast it grows and how well it does and how my nitrates hopefully go down to almost zero. So let me know what you think. If you're not subscribed, subscribe and more than welcome to leave a comment. And uh, I'll give you an update maybe in a month's time see how things are going with my Chado reactor